Hey YouTube, this here is a Hoover Whole House Rewind Pet Vacuum Cleaner. And as you can tell from the looks of this thing, it's filthy. We use this thing because we have cats in the house and normally we just empty out this canister here, but it really needs a good cleaning. So let's take a look at this thing and let's see if we could clean it out really well. Let's get to it. The first thing we see here is this thing has an allergen blocking filter. It says the filter made with HEPA carbon media. Let's see what this looks like. I think you just pull this thing out. There's a filter right there. It's not too filthy and the back isn't too filthy. There's a little bit of cat hairs on there, uh, but I don't think that's way too bad. Maybe we could try to pull some of that out. Doesn't look way too bad. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that back in. This is just a carbon filter with a paper filter in there. I guess if it chokes up, we could replace this at some point in time. That right, clicks in place. Next thing we wanna do, Let's take this canister off and see how we could open that up and clean all the junk out. There's just a button on the top, press it and it comes right out. On the top of this canister there's a little indicator that says if it's red, rinse the filter and check for clogs. I don't think I've ever seen this thing red, but this thing still looks filthy so I'm going to take it apart and see what we could do. The canister here says you should clean this thing monthly and rinse it out. But guess what? I don't think we've ever really done that. All we've done is really just push this button, dump all the trash out, and then uh, put it back in service. So that was all well and good. But what about all this other junk that's stuck in there? How do you get all that stuff out? On this vacuum cleaner, you can twist the cap off. You might be able to see it in the video here. There's a, a lock, unlock. It says twist. Ooh. Twist to unlock, so let's see. Twist. This way to unlock. With the top off, you see there's a filter on top here. And there's where all the nastiness is. All the stuff is cat hairs and carpet fibers. And in the canister, there's more stuff stuck in there. For this thing to work really well, we need to clean all this stuff out. According to this canister, you should be able to wash this thing out. I'm just going to take this out into a big trash can and beat the living daylights out of it to get all these fibers out. This looks a lot better than before. Maybe we should actually wash it out with soap and water, but I'm not going to do that today. We're just going to clean it out like this. Then this canister comes out. And there's more stuff in there and more stuff around here. Man, this is filthy three screws that takes this apart and then we could take this outside and just blow it all the way out just blow all the dirt out and blow everything out of this canister too three screws one two three I'm gonna just take all these pieces outside and just blow them out with a, a, a blow up, just blow it out into the yard and uh, come back and reassemble everything. I just took all these pieces out into the yard 
and just blew them out with a leaf blow and they seem to be okay. Let's go ahead and try to reassemble this thing if I can remember how it went. Hopefully I do. Goes like that. This one goes in and the holes align like that. And then this one, there we go. And it just screws right in place there. Right in place. The holes line up. And we're just gonna screw these back in. Just gonna replace this filter on the top. And then to lock this thing back. And there's just a couple of arrows here. You just gotta line back up. And just twist it back to the locks. There we go. It's locked. Now let's put it back together. All right, we're all assembled back together. The only thing to do is to try it out. So I'm just going to try this out on the plain concrete floor. It's on and running. Seems to be good. Now the next thing to do is to test this on the carpeted floor and see if we have some increased suction. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on cleaning up this nasty vacuum cleaner. If you do, give a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. God bless.